this is a this is a preemptive apology for butchering German and other foreign names. On December 29th, 1941, the 46th Infantry Division withdrew from the initial positions near the Soviet bridgehead at Theodosia. Despite this move saving thousands from certain Soviet encirclement, this cost one man's job, General Hans Graf von Sponek. The next day he was relieved of command and was court-martialed. His sentence was the death penalty, but after intervention from the Führer, this was reduced to seven years imprisonment. In the aftermath of an attempt at the Führer's life on the July plot in 1944, Hans Graf von Spanek was executed without trial under orders of Heinrich Himmler. Post-war, his legacy had been positive. Known widely in the new Germany as the man who defied orders from the Nazis to save thousands of lives which costed his own. Streets in Bremen, Germersheim and Freiburg was named after this anti-Nazi hero. Even an airbase barracks was named after him in 1966. However, in 2014, a single journal which investigated the war crimes committed by German forces in Ukraine completely changed public view on the so-called anti-Nazi hero. But first, quote-unquote, brief biography. Hans Graf von Spanek was mostly known for his service in the Wehrmacht, having served in World War I and gained some reputation. In 1937, he was transferred to the Luftwaffe and was one of the pioneers of Nazi airborne units. As the Second World War erupted, he was in charge of the 22nd Infantry Division. His first engagement was during the Battle of the Netherlands, where he was ordered to capture the Hague, or the Hague, from Dutch hands. The plan was to capture the royal family and establish a puppet government quite similar to Denmark. During the Battle of The Hague, however, his troops were defeated by Dutch reservists and he was very nearly captured. His division will then assist in the Battle of France on ground. Prior to Operation Barbarossa, the 22nd Infantry Division was replaced for Operation Mercury, the invasion of Crete, by another unit. During Operation Barbarossa itself, his division was assigned to Army Group South and worked closely with the Romanian Army. After taking sick leave, he was appointed commander of the 46th Division and on December 1941, he and his forces of the 46th Infantry Division was forced into a dilemma. His forces was the closest to respond to Soviet attacks at Kerch and Theodosia, but it would risk exposing his flanks. An earlier counter-attack carried out by Romanian troops ordered by himself failed and a Soviet bridgehead was established. His forces were on a standstill against the Soviets in Theodosia and personally requested a retreat from the area to Erich von Manstein, which was promptly refused. Reinforcements from the 73rd and 170th Divisions was promised, but von Sponek defied orders and retreated. This decision saved the 46th Infantry Division from a Soviet encirclement, but because he defied orders, he was relieved of command and court-martialed. He was sentenced to death for defying orders from a superior on his own will, but that sentence was reduced to seven years imprisonment after direct intervention by Hitler. He was imprisoned in the Germersheim fortress. A few years later, in the immediate aftermath of the 20th July plot to assassinate Hitler, he was ordered to be executed by SS troops in order to give an example. He was shot to death on the 23rd of July 1944. As previously mentioned, Post-war, he was a celebrated figure in Germany because he was believed to be executed for defying Nazi orders. This hero image of von Sponek lasted very well and its symbolism could be seen with public imagery of him. Several statues and a street near the prison he was in was named after him, and in 1966, a new airbase was opened in Rhineland Platinate and was named General Hans Graf Sponek Kaserne. It remained so until the journal earlier mentioned in the beginning was published. Despite von Spanek disobeying orders to save his men and his negative opinion of the Nazi regime, he collaborated with the Einsatzgruppen to coordinate systematic and indiscriminate killings of Jews in southern Ukraine. While he was still in charge of the 22nd, he gave an order which, to put it briefly, encourages his units to collaborate with the SS Sonderkommandos to round up and murder Jews. On December 1941, his units was involved in the murder of 2,000 Jews in Meltipol. 
a thousand Jews in Theodosia and another two thousand in Kerch, but those in Theodosia and Kerch, he was not in command yet. As Pearl Harbor was going on and the U.S. prepared for war, he ordered all Jews to be marked in order to be identified by the Einsatzgruppen to be killed later as reprisals for partisan activities. His orders follows, rough translation to English, Secret, Guidelines to Combating Partisans Point number 8. Jews are to be recorded, recognizable with the Star of David on the chest and back, to make, to monitor, and to draw on the labor service. Point number 9. After the announcement has been made, action must be taken ruthlessly. Immediate shooting on the orders of an officer in the event of A. Finding weapons among the civilian population, including hunting rifles. B. Support of partisans or Red Army soldiers through accommodation, maintenance, procurement of civilian clothes or messages. C. Finding Red Army soldiers also in uniform or partisans. D looting or refusal to work. Point number 10. Partisans or looters are to be hung up in public as a deterrent with the corresponding sign of partisan or looters. Signed, Graf Sponek. These ideas were brought to the public and reached headlines largely thanks to Eric Grimmer Solem's article, but there was only previous research and papers doubting the image of von Sponek as far back as 2004. As a result of this, Public protests sprung up in Germersheim calling for the airbase mentioned before to be renamed. Monuments of von Spanek was removed, Rhodes was renamed, plaques was torn down, and the image of Hans Graf von Spanek went down with it. It is me again, bitches. The TDS is back for one short announcement. But first I do hope you like this video. This video is obviously different as it isn't a ship or navy video. But I did mention the Netherlands. Anyways. It's been a busy month for me. Videos will be drying up. I will occasionally post in my second channel. But I will try to maintain the minimum of one video a month for this channel. Anyways, bye.